Hey guys, so today's vlog is going to start off just a little bit different because this project deserves me to come on here and talk to you guys about it um, before I completely just show you. Um, this project was definitely the most um, difficult, um, more the most time consuming, but probably the most rewarding. The reason I say that is because it let me know that anybody could do this. And it also let me know that I, I mean, that I have way more potential than I thought I did. <laughs> um, this is not something that I've ever done. The first time I've ever picked up a power tool was probably two months ago when I did the master closet. Um, and I just kind of kept going and kept perfecting my craft. Um, and I don't plan to stop here. I just don't. I mean, I've fallen in love with it. Um, I plan to add more pieces to um, my little stash in my garage makeshift shop. Makeshift shop. Um, and this entire project was done for around $500. Not including the curtains, of course, because I was uh, given those. Um, I did a collab and they were given to me. So you'll see that as well in the vlog. But I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, and I'll see you guys in my next one. So with, without further ado, let's get into the vlog. Good morning, y'all. Welcome back to another vlog. It is literally the very next morning from the day I made those chairs. I'm off today as well, so um, I am going to try and get as much of that patio furniture finished today. Um, I would love to be finished with the entire project today, so wish me luck. It's like 8.30 in the morning, so I got plenty of time, however, comma, Ariel is on her way over here to give me a fill in on my lashes. So that's where we're at. Um, gonna have me a protein shake with my new blessed powder. Fingers crossed it tastes good. But so let me just tell y'all, you know how like you do something and then it just, you, you kind of walk away from it and it just kind of sits in the back of your mind. So that's how I was feeling about the chairs yesterday. I just kind of feel that they might be too tall. I'm short. Ariel's short. Dante short. Only person tall is my youngest daughter, Monty. So, I mean, my feet sit right at the floor, but I would like to be comfortable. I don't want to be like sitting straight up like a throne. I would like to be kind of. I'll show y'all what I'm talking about. Let me get my protein shake and I'll show you. Okay, so hopefully you guys can see me. Um, so this is what I'm talking about. Um, let me see. Let's try this. Okay. So this is what I'm talking about. Like my feet sit on the floor. I'm sitting back, but I just feel like I would like to have my legs more like, <laughs> Like this in my, I don't know. Um, I think I'm gonna try it. I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to probably take maybe two inches off, two or three inches. Just so that they sit down lower. I don't know, I'm really on the fence about it. Let me think on it. I'll be back. So as I was sitting here drilling my 600,000 pocket holes, I realized that I'm not gonna finish today with just one um, battery. So I think I'm gonna run to 
lows and get a second battery. So as one is charging, I could be using the other one. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'll be back. So I just got back from Lowe's. And as you can see, my best friend is here and he not feeling well. So he is clinging to Nina. So I'm also kind of thinking I wanna make some changes to these chairs. So I don't know. I'm sitting here right now, like really contemplating what to do. Um, so once I make a decision, I'll be back and let you see what I decide. All right. Okay, so I changed the design because <laughs> that's what I do. And I like it so much more. Sorry, I got this N95 on, but yes. So I took two inches off the bottom to make it sit down lower. And I also changed the sides right there and it's so much nicer now so now i gotta go back and change all of my wood well not all of it just the um the four sides so let me do that so i can keep moving okay so i cut down the um other pieces of wood to be able to do the new design chairs and now and i've also also sanded them um from the, where i cut it so it's not so rigid um so now i'm going to go back to making my <laughs> pocket my million pocket holes so i can just go ahead and start putting it together i'll probably take a lunch break here shortly too because it's almost 11 30 um and ariel ordered us some lunch so as soon as we get here, I'm gonna take a break, but for now, I'm gonna to continue to make my pocket holes because I have a lot of them to make. All right. Okay, so <clears throat> lunch break is over. <laughs> I'm back out here in this garage and I am putting pocket holes in this wood. And when I tell you, it don't take me long once I get it all, like the pocket holes done to like assembly, but the pocket holes take time because there's a lot of pieces of wood. Let me just show you. Okay, so I need to put four pocket holes in each of these pieces of wood that's on the table. So you put two in at a time and you have to flip the wood and put two in on that end. These are the ones that, I've, that I got done. So as you see, I'm moving, but it's very time consuming. Um, it doesn't seem like it, but it, it is. So <clears throat> I'm gonna keep working and then I will be back in a little bit. I would like to get to know Everything is now just ready for me to just kind of screw it together and assembly. So, thankfully, I decided to go to Lowe's and get that second battery because I, I guess I never really paid any attention, but um, these batteries have about a two hour um, lifespan or life before they die. So, yeah, two hours ain't gonna do it. And I don't wanna have to keep taking breaks to charge it. So. Um, thankfully I went and got another one cause I was able to just keep going when the battery died. So anyway, let me just keep going. It's like 1226. So I'm making really good time, even though it seems like I've been like, I'm behind, but I'm not, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what I'm behind from. Cause it's not like I'm on a time. You know what? I'm just killing time here and I just really need to just keep going. So Let's just keep going. All right, I'll be back. 
Okay, back to work. Okay, so it is literally 3.30 and I'm not tired yet, but I literally just finished caulking like all of the um, chairs. So I was going to paint outside, but baby, it's cold out there. I had to close the garage door because it was cold. My nose started running. So um, I guess I'm going to move these chairs, clean up some of this dust in here, and then paint in the garage since that's my next step. So, all right, I'm going to start doing that because it's a, it's a mess in here. Um, <laughs> and, um, yeah, so let me clean up at least, you know, some of this stuff, and then I can start painting. All right, I'm just going to be using this Sherwin Williams Super Paint. Um, it is a paint and primer all in one, just a white color, nothing ba nothing um, major, and it's in satin finish. Um, it's an exterior paint, so that way it can hold up outside. So it's four o'clock, so I need to do two coats of paint, and yeah, so stop talking. <laughs> I would like to get to know if I could be the kind of girl that you could be down for. Cause when I look at you, I feel something tell me that you're the kind of guy that I should make a move on. And if I don't let you know, then I won't be for real. I could be wrong, but I feel like something could be going on. since like maybe nine this morning and I'm done. <laughs> I've hit my, I've hit the wall like, and I work tomorrow and the next day. So I work Saturday and Sunday. So, um, yeah, the chairs are painted. The table is painted. Um, there's a few things left to do. Uh, and then I can pull it all together. But instead of this being a Sunday vlog, this is now going to probably be a Monday vlog. So, Either way, it is well worth the wait. Um, so, yeah, because this is probably the, like I said, this is the largest project I've ever done. Um, so, and I didn't want to rush it. So that's, that's where we're at. So I guess on Monday, after I get a couple hours of sleep, I'll pull it together, edit the vlog, and get it out on Monday. So I'll see you guys on Monday. Good morning. So it's Monday. Um, let's just get to it.
All right, so as some of you all may know, um, but if you don't, outside curtain rods can be a little pricey. So I saw this hack on um, Pinterest of using PVC pipes as curtain rods. So I'm going to attempt it, but first I need to spray paint them black um, because they have all these words on them. Um, and this is just some spray paint that I already had. It's the Rust-Oleum brand, just like the ones that I use for the table. So wish me luck, let's see how it goes. So as I'm sitting here waiting for the PVC pipe that I spray painted to dry so that I can make the outdoor um, curtain rods, I figured I'll pop on real quick and talk about these beautiful <laughs> outdoor curtains that I received from K. George. K. George is an online curtain um, website. They sell outdoor curtains, they sell indoor curtains, they sell blinds, they sell valences, they even sell shower curtains. They're, um, they've been online for a, a very long time and their, their curtains are just very beautiful. They're very nice, they're very high quality. Um, so I was very, very happy when they reached out to me to do a collab. Um, these curtains that I received are waterproof, and they also have a blackout feature. So when we're out there at nighttime entertaining, because that's what I plan to do, um, we can actually have a little bit of privacy versus, you know, just um, interrupting the neighbors or whatever. So thank you, K. George. Also, K. George was ever so nice to give my subscribers a discount of 18% off any of your purchases. Um, I'm going to put that link down below, as well as um, my discount code right here on the screen. Um, you have to use, in order to get to discount, you have the discount, you have to use the link that I include in the description box of this video. But for now, let's just keep back to the video. Okay, so in order for me to hang these curtain rods outside, I bought these two hole straps to hang them up with. So hopefully it works. So let's go try it. to connect the PVC pipes to each other and make them long enough for the rod that I needed. I bought these PVC connectors and they were about 60 cent a piece. I also spray painted them black. Okay, so as you see, I have the pipe, the PVC um, connector on the end and I have this other PVC. Just push them, to, supposed to be able to push them together. Okay guys, so as I was waiting for the um, spray paint to dry on my PVC pipes, I decided to go ahead and start um, hanging up the makeshift curtain um, hangers. What are they called? Anchors, curtain anchors. So I started hanging up all the ones in the corners and then I'll come back and hang the ones in the middle once I put the curtains up. So I also bought these PVC cutters from um, Lowe's, they were like 13 bucks. So that'll allow me to um, cut the PVCs down to 
the actual length that I need. So. I think we're at the point where we're officially ready to start hanging the curtains. I know I didn't really uh, video myself hanging these curtains um, because they were they, they were a little um, more challenging than I thought. Uh, the PVC is okay, but I think that the hooks that I used could have been bigger. So I think I may replace those, but for today they work. So the curtains, beautiful, okay? Beautiful. So let me just show you what it looks like right now. Ignore the yard. The people are coming today to cut the grass. That has been a whole nother challenge, finding someone to cut the grass. So this is what it looks like right now. I think I'm gonna clean up the mess and then we're gonna decorate. I'm dusty. So, like I said, we're going to clean up this mess and then we'll finish it out.
Shame.